This blast off from Sri Harikota in eastern India shatters a nearly six-decade dominance of the country's National Space Agency. A four-year-old startup has placed three satellites into orbit on a rocket built on low budget. The six-meter Vikram S weighs less than 600 kilograms and is equipped with state-of-the-art 3D printed engines. The vehicle reached space to an altitude of 89.5 kilometers and completed the required mission objectives. This Praram mission, as the name signifies, is the beginning of a new era in the Indian space ecosystem. Skyroot Aerospace is the first startup to work with the Indian Space Research Organization after the government amended laws in 2020, allowing private firms to build rockets and satellites. And dozens are now lining up. A major step forward to India developing its own space ecosystem and emerging as a frontline nation in the community of world nations. And of course, a turning point in India's startup movement. India occupies less than 3% of the global space market share and spends a fraction of what US and China do on research. Apart from government support, private players will need to invest. Initially, we have got investments from world over for our startups, a good healthy one, but we will, finances as we move forward would also be required. And also, of course, an assured market, which is just not in India, but world over. India's National Space Agency has long collaborated with other countries to launch hundreds of satellites. Now, private firms are pushing to take the industry further into space. Omekul Sum Sharif, Al Jazeera.